Claude should not be given away too much to Dream High if they first pick Claude. I'm not going to be surprised. They really like that hero, no? Gustong gusto talaga nila yan. Uh, and you did see that they could use it properly, but Esmeralda, something that we haven't actually talked about. Mula kanina, napabayaan yata natin Esme, no? Yeah, of course. First two, kasi first two games has been heavily banned, but right now, pinili na siya mismo ng Dream High Esports. Ito, desperation attempt na ito. Kasi, alam nila, what if Rumble Royale finally deploys Harris? And there you go. First picked here by Rumble Royale, Harris. And now they combine it with Teresa. That's so, a good composition. That's a good composition. Yeah. And uh, to be fair, madali ding gawan ng paraan ng Esmeralda. Uh, you can die very easily into a Teresa and into yeah. a Harit. Diba? Walang yeah. problema yun. Ang tanong is yung follow-up. Uh, do they want to go for Grok instead? Uh, do you want to stick with a strong mid lane? Kasi pag mid lane kasama si Grok at si Esmeralda, ang best ng wave clear. That's true. Kaya makipag 2v2, 2v3, napakadali. Kahit wala pang mga ultimate. Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see if that's gonna be the case here. Pero yung Kufra going to be prioritized instead. And Fabs? I guess they're expecting that. Hmm. They, they're, they're actually, they might expect Rumble Royale to go very aggressive. So Kufra could be like the counter option here by Dream High yeah. Esports. Of course, yung Bouncing Ball. One ability na every team gets annoyed because of the fact that kaya niyang uh, shut down any potential early game approach here yeah. on either on the side of Rumble Royale. And yung solo laning din. Kasi kaya sinicure na nila yung fams kasi usually mag-gold ka. Bakit pinick agad nila yung fams? but wala muna tayong Dunox or wala muna tayong Claude? Uh, I feel like they just want to keep that lane safe. They don't want one lane to lose. Gusto nila manali yung mga lanes nila. However, the carry, uh, the carry pick is... I'm not surprised anymore. Yeah. Three, three times in a row for Rumble Royale. Obviously, a uh, good hero for both Daniel and for LeBron. Uh, a little bit, a bit better on Daniel, apparently. Pero, let's see what's going to be banned. Franco, that's good. Uh, also, to... You, kasi yung Franco yung pinakamagaling problema din pag may Actually, Esmeralda. Oh, yep. uh, Nag-charge ka pa lang ng Falling Star Moon mo. Pabagsa ka pa lang. Kinahook ka na. Nasuppress ka na. So, good ban. Uh, Akai pick also is very useful against... Both Esmeralda and the Sams. Yep, indeed, of course. That Akai pick is certainly a very important uh, selection here by Rumble Royale. Of course, we saw the Diggy ban, and uh, of course, you don't Kailang want. Yeah, you, you don't want to. You oh. don't want your Terizla, your Akai, and maybe uh, possibly your Minotaur to be completely to be shut down. By of course that time journey ability. <laughs> na basa mo na, no? Mi amoy minotor na naman yeah, oh sa Rumble Royale, no? Ko nga eh. <laughs> so eh, I'm sure that's gonna be in the plans here. Pero, uh, pero kinuha mo na kayo ng Dream High Esports, which is uh, actually pretty smart. That's a counter pick, and uh, pretty much may, that might blow up the plan of Rumble Royale. And dahil doon na na pa oh, hoppers sa Tiger. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying Tiger is the worst pick, but you know that's you know that's the other option aside from. The Minotaur for one good set. Pero kanina nakita natin maganda din yung Galakacha, and they go for that instead. Yeah, so we might expect Rumble Royale to repeat the same strategy in game number two. Go very aggressive with the Gatot Kacha and the carry composition, and then that's gonna be something that Dream High Esports have to adapt. Because hey, game number two, RR already adapted to Dream High Esports' strategy. We've seen them. Uh, they, ju they just they, they just shut down the Claude, let carry move around, make sure that carry does not lane with Claude. So game number three, let's see kung may mga, may mga surprise factor involved hmm. coming from these two squads indeed. What do you think about this Guinevere? Is it malakas pa pang gulat tong Guinevere na to? And bagay ba to sa comp nila? Uh, one, man. well, if you look at Guinevere, of course, the nerfs have been set onto Guinevere because of the fact na yung damage now when she goes for the Requiem isn't really... Is it really that amplified? I mean, before, when you have Guinevere in your lineup, it's like, oh my god, oh, that's the sure perfect... Pick, eh, no? Perfect initiation attack. Lalo na kung... Epic. Pag epic ka nun eh, sure. Pick yung Guinevere, first pick Guinevere. Sure ban, sure ban yung mandalas Guinevere sa epic ban. No, but jokes aside, I feel like the Guinevere, you shouldn't maganda siya pag solo. Yeah. So, eh, considering meron silang fams. Diba? So, sino yung magsasolo, sino yung mapapasakripisyo. We're gonna have to find out as we go into Game 3. Dream High Esports! This is Rumble Royale. And here we go, Gio about to get surrounded there. It's Automata Landon with the bouncing ball by V1, but so far it's just going to be a friendly skirmish indeed yep. coming from both squads. So the blue team is Dream High Esports with Yaklu going to be playing as Esmeralda. Okay, DLR is going to be playing as Tamus. V1 is going to be playing as your Kufra. Zico is going to be playing as Minotaur. And Wise is going to be playing as your uh, Guinevere. Galit na galit sa bot lane. Nagad na kupu. Magad na execute damage yan. Coming from the Lebron! Oh, oh man, minion kill. Let's go. First 
first blood goes over to that Terizla. Of course, Terizla. We have Rumble Royale, Lebron, ang gumagamit niyan. Si Mark on the Harry, Danielle on the carry, Lue on the Akai, and Gio is here on that Galo Kacha. So, execute damage nung uh, first kill ni Terizla. Nang buff yun. Dati 10% na execute damage yun, 20% of missing health. Holy so, wow. medyo masakit again, and that's why pumutok agad yung HP bar ni Dealer doon. However, on the top lane, medyo nagagantihan naman nila uh, Iyak. Noon nakuha nila yung... Uh, Crab they're, they're, point yeah, they're able on. to get the crab, which is oh. really good. I mean, b based on what I'm seeing, Yakno's gonna be playing as Esmeralda, so this is gonna be this is gonna be a mage Esmeralda indeed. So For sure. That actually, bagadang setup yan na Esmeralda and Guinevere. So that could be like the perfect starting point for Dream IE Sports. Oh, Piyakno! Falling Star Moon! Falling Star Moon right away! Punong puto na naman ng shield ng kanyang HP. Apat na miyembro, hinaabsorba niya at nadadamage ng Stardust Dance. Still, 4v2, kinakain nila. Here comes Dealer with the backup here. Luwe, naku po, mapatak mo. Sprint ka ba? Will be give the kill over to Wise on the Guinevere. I mean, that's really a good aggressive play on the side there of uh, Dream High Esports. But then, of course, Rumble Royale trying to respond immediately. But it wasn't really that enough. Of course, you got the shielding there by Iaknu. And then you got the sudden surprise factor that Wise could actually provide. Actually, oh. that's, that's one thing you want. If you have a Guinevere in your lineup, I feel like that's how you should play. Like, the surprise factor. Oh! Oh! There Still you go. gonna be a big team fight here around the turtle area. Ganit na ganit, 2v3. They don't care. Mark goes in. Medyo malayo na siya. Zaman Force trying to get killed onto V. Wala pa masyadong ultimate and falling star moon absorbs a lot of the members of. Oh, oh my, my god, god, that three Requiem. man Requiem cleans it up for Dream High Esports Rumble Royale. Oh my gosh, they had a. They did not see that coming. Una sa lahat, choke point yan. So, and of course... Ipit na ipit. Ipit na ipit. And take note, Esmeralda loves to go 1v1 with Harris. And ta ta sakto yung talon niya, talon niya. If isang falling star moon, na-absorb niya lahat ng shields ni Mark, which is so crucial. And then, once na she was able to deliver the necessary damage, tumalon naman si Wise with that, of course, Violet's Requiem, which actually further helps the other members of Dream High Esports finish off Rumble Royale. Ang solid nun, kasi kahit ako hindi rinasahan na papasok ng gun si Wise. And he did make it work so well. Then, you know, the top lane, binagsakad na naman ni Iaknu. Ina-absorb lahat na HP niya kahit under third siya. Will be going down to the Esmeralda. 5 to 1 na mga kaibigan. And that goal lead coming up really strong. 2.3k para sa Dream High Esports. Yeah, and it's looking like uh, Rum uh, uh, Rumble Royale were actually a bit arrogant to let Dream High Esports pick this Esmeralda. Because in the first two games, uh, we see Esmeralda being banned. But here, it's, it's a bit questionable because they love to play Harith and they want to make him online, but then you allow Esmeralda to be deployed. So it's a bit questionable on the side of Rumble Royale for you to allow the one hero oh. that could potentially counter pick you to be available for Rumble Royale. Speaking of counter, Kaya ay ng counter fight dito right now. One man in own fury lap, pero yung falling star mo nasa likod, mga bawa sa backline ng Rumble Royale. They will take down Lebron, pero Lue, sinamahan sila iyak nung wala ng Esmeralda na pro problemahin for the meantime. The bow in the pressure, but the farm is icy wise. Violet Requiem not gonna be used for the meantime here. So, kumakal makal malang and dream high. They don't want to take it too fast, too furious right away. Kaya, uh, top lane naman ang pina pressure ngayon ng Rumble Royale. And right now, based on what I'm seeing on the draft itself, oh, V1 already V1, jumping in. V1 ang ganda ng bouncing ball, pero hindi yung pwede i-bouncing ball ang sprint. Kaya, usually, pag may nakakalaban ng uh, fans, yun yung sprint talaga. Kasi, <laughs> Pag nag-ano ka masyadong maasim yung mga mobility spell agad, uh, yung mga flash, flicker, flicker, mga gano'n, wala eh. Latalbog yep. ka lang, mapapatay ka pa lalo kasi pag tumalbog ka, mas slow ka. And speaking of slow down, he cannot get out of third range. Mart, napatay naman yung Minotaur ng yep. Dream High. Yep, indeed. Right now, based on what I'm seeing in terms of lineup, I know that Rumble Royale, they will be very susceptible sa mga choke points because Totoo, yeah. you you have Bouncing Ball, you have Yaknu with the Falling Star Moon, you have Weiss with the Violet's Requiem, but then, you realize you have Lu Wei, who's, who he has to be in every team fight, especially in the choke point. Because oh. Meron Chang Hurricane Dance to make sure that the choke point disadvantage doesn't really favor Dream High Esports. So for the meantime, Dream High, they're very confident on the bottom lane, the Guan B1. Pero si Lebron, 1v2, kayang kaya niya with the help of Mark. However, hindi pa tapos. V1, mga follow-up din. Looks like hindi makatakas yung harit na ito. Where are you going? Walang Chrono Dash, Chrono Dash. Pag ako ay bouncing ball. And they go for that turtle right after that. 
Yep, indeed. So this is really not a good Harris game indeed, because you have bouncing ball. You have Yak who's gonna absorb your shields. So you see, Mark's overall influence in this game is oh, actually waning a bit. No? Really waning. Because tanggal na yung mobility ng Chrono Dash mo, tanggal yeah. pa yung shield mo, paano ka mabuhay, di ba? So tingnan natin kung mapagawan pa yung paraan ng Rumble Royale yan. Kasi syempre hindi lang naman si Mark kaasahan ni Lebron, medyo malakas na din. Wise, of course, using that uh, turtle damage, turtle buff damage, getting that uh, tank very low. Uh, for the meantime, wala siya, hindi niya siya masyadong nag-stay sa lane nga kahit pa paano eh. They just staying on the the jungle and trying to get gold while uh, being away from the map para medyo magulantang din yung Rumble Royale uh, baka, alam mo yun, nakakatakot na isipin na baka may Quinevere dito sa bush na to yep. kaya kailangan din lang mag-ingat dun yep, indeed. Of course, they have to be careful Rumble Royale but then, if you're Dream High Esports, kayo din dapat maging maingat din kayo because so far, Daniel is actually slowly progressing in this game meron na siyang endless battle in this matchup so that could be a huge help indeed and if he further gets these towers that's gonna be like a huge sigh of relief for Rumble Royale well, I mean, yeah, for Rumble Royale so that they can further provide the counter play as yeah. Daniel's oh. gonna get oh, Kuya Daniel not be able to dash for once pero the follow-up is way too late here another kill going over to Dream High two members down for Rumble Royale Bottom lane, si Lebron na lang ang pag-asa there. I think, pwede ba siyang umuha ng Torre kung sakali? And uh, gagawin nga niya yun ngayon. Mm. And uh, takas muna bago, <laughs> bago, bago mag-gank. And uh, for the meantime, it's gonna be Rumble Royale again playing around the pressure of Dream High. Si Lewis, nabuha na mag-1000 pounder, na-block nung bola na iyon. And, uh, oh, this is really good pressure by Dream High Esports indeed. They're trying to get the towers away. They know that Daniel's overall impact is actually slowly being felt. Nakita natin, Daniel's actually getting better and better, but then they immediately burst him down and they're stalking on these towers to make sure na yung potential ni Daniel is gonna be further negated sa matchup na ito. Nga, I feel like Daniel, yun lang kailangan yung bantayan dito sa laban nito. Right now, wise, great Violet Requiem. Locked by that Hurricane oh, Dance Geo. Ang ganda ng mga tanke. Pero, nasa na yung bawas. Yun ang tanong. It's gonna be down the backside with Esmeralda. Just dealing so much damage. Cannot deal with it right now. Tanggal na yung carry. Who else is gonna be our hope? Wala ding HP si Mark. Nakipaglaban si Lebron. Pero hindi sapat ang bawas niya. And Iaknu, sobrang confident. Pumasok na oh sa base. God. Kara na. And let's go. 1v3 gets one. But how does he get out of this one for the meantime? You know, you know, oh my goodness, you know, that's the most annoying factor when you have like an Esmeralda sa inyong lineup. Grab you, Esmeralda really, talaga. Really, really. In, the Lalo fact, pag di mo napansin ha? Yeah. Yun nga, pag late pa siyang dumating, tas ang lambot na nung kalaban, falling star mo na lang eh, no? Yeah, look, just look at the Yaktu's overall performance. Four kills, one death, five assists. That's really good for Esmeralda player. And then Wise was actually able to initiate the play well with that Violet's Requiem, which is a good follow-up for the rest of the members of Dream High Esports. Yeah, ang maganda pa doon, na-expend na yung Hurricane Dance yeah. para kay Wise on the, Esme on the Guinevere para hindi na magamit kay Esmeralda. Yeah. Basically, it baited the skill and it became a big problem for Rumble Royale. Bottom lane though, kaya defend the Lebron ng solo. So far, siya palang ang uh, nakita ng solid na nang nagagawa ng place under the turret. Walang problem sa penalty zone has to flicker out. Nabita man yung Minotaur, uh, Minoan Fury. And the monster get on the top lane for the Guinevere. Lue trying to get someone. Gets Zico, pero hindi nila mapi finish yung trabaho. Yep, indeed, of course. The survivability there on the side of Dream High Esports has really been felt here. And Rumble Royale, you know, they have to really figure out how to deal with the survival instinct that Dream High Esports has actually provided. And of course, yeah. they need to get their items first for them to, to for dish out further damage. But so far, it's really looking difficult. As you oh, can see. Oh boy, Lue! Again, behind enemy lines, wala pa siyadong bawas pa. Sila Daniel and sila Mark. Kaya hirap na hirap din silang maghanap ng magandang engage over the Lord. Trying to go for the steal, but it's gonna Rumble happen! Royale. Lebron gets it! It's gonna be the dive in by Gio. Trying to see if he can disengage. But it's not gonna be successful. And siya din mauhuli din with a kill by Iaknu. Lebron and Lue, the only ones alive here. Minoan Fury for the Terizda alone. The knockup not going to be there for Wise, but I think the pressure is still going to be so immense from Dream High. Kait nakuha ng Rumble Royale, you Lord. There, Hurricane Dance there onto two members there, but still not going to be enough though. Here comes Wise jumping in. Oh my God, that's a nice, that's a nice use of the Violet Requiem onto the bouncing ball. Oh Grabe. my God, have kumpol, mercy! Kumpol. Have Pero mercy! Wala pa rin talaga hindi kaya 
ng uh, Rumble Royale yung damage output. They don't have enough damage output enough. Kahit magkapag-set ng maayos si Lebron with a penalty zone, walang gagawa ng bawas except for him. So it's him, Mark. He was not in position. He was just coming from base. And Gio, they're gonna try to get a kill onto the Esmeralda. Finally, maybe we can shot him down. But it looks like the live still na lang with the Violet Requiem. And then Daniel already getting online there, trying to go 1v1 with Dilar. Was able to get the kill. Consolation prize na yan para sa Rumble Royale. I feel like the Lord Steel was very important for RR, but then you have to take into consideration they weren't able to finish off the fights even though they got the momentum with the Lord play because una sa lahat, they still don't have yet the necessary damage Gary only has the endless battle but it's still not going to be that sufficient LeBron oh. trying to do something but then it's already it's already being dished out because Zico is already prepared to deliver his, his signature ability once a Minoan Fury is ready that's already that yeah. could be the the necessary counterplay by Dream High Esports kung baga yung Rumble Royale nakuha lang nila yung Lord survival lang pero hindi pwedeng survive ka lang ng survive diba kailangan makagawa kayo ng offensive play para ma-counter ak yung ginagawa ngayon ng Dream High Esports na right now hirap na hirap sila they're still buying some time para dito sa carry na to na makapag-farm Lebron kuha mo na yung wing of the uh, apocalypse pero yeah, the, the queen's wings yeah yeah pero ang problema dito is uh, again he's the only one that has the power to actually survive from Dream High right now, the base being beaten down. Now, po, oh, it's gonna be a four oh, man. Nice cancel. The cancel on the hurricane. That's now, po, penalty zone is a long one. Tatamaan as well. Si Mark, medyo late pumasok, pero ah, absorb ka pa rin. Nitong is Mirada to under 30 and partida. Still way too late. And looks like medyo may mahira pa na ngayon ang RR mga paghanap ng puesto for B2. Lebron is here to do the follow up. Pero low na si Gary is not gonna survive from Iaknu. Yep, indeed. Very smart play in removing the carry, the primary damage dealer in this game. They jump in furthermore. Mark is actually gonna go down, but can he actually run away? No. Inahabu siya mismo dito. Nice hurricane dancer by Lupe to make sure that Yaknu will certainly try to go down. But he's still alive, unfortunately. Bad news na bad news mismo on the side of Rumble Royale. Kailangan nila mismo tumawag ng ambulansya sa laban na ito. 21 and 9 so far. On the scoreboard, 13 minutes in. Oh my gosh, that was a good record under tower. Now, he survived. Pa siya. And see si Mark now trying to get the kill. He gets the shutdown on Wise. But the tower is going to be their focus right now. Just keep those towers alive. Wag lang natin pa yung inhibitor turret, mga kaibigan. And I think that's the game plan for Rumble Royale right now. He's so brang. So perfect initiation attempts here on the side of Dream High Esports. Of course, if you look at the itemizations on Rumble Royale, it's slowly happening. Daniel already has a Bloodlust Axe, but it's already looking like it's already too late. Mark already has the Feather, but it's late. Na rin siya eh. So, yeah, it's really going to be something that Rumble Royale are really banking at. The fact that they have their items very late, but it's looking like Dream High Esports, you know, given the fact that Yaknu's going aggressive, just providing yeah. a surprise oh. factor together with Wise, parang it's really Lord, difficult to provide the necessary survivability in, survivability in a team fight and to do or dish out a lot of damage and because of the, what Yaknu and Wise are doing. I mean, I'm na akong medyo pattern. Eh. Sinisimulan ni Wise, tapos si Yaknu coming out of nowhere. <laughs> pang cleanup in. Yung cleanup niya, ang hirap pigilan. Kasi nga yung Esmeralda, umaabsorb na nga ng shield. Plus, sobrang laki pa ng magic damage ng Stardust Dance. So, sobrang laki din nakuha niya. So, he's becoming so unkillable. Kahit na yung Harit nga hindi na mga forma talaga. Yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh. Take note, Yaknu and Wise already has Genius 1. So, ang, ang may potential sila mag-deliver ng magic penetration. Ang katutak ng magic yeah. penetration oh yun pag naka-Genius 1 ka. Tama. Oh yeah. my gosh. So, right now, ano ba lamang natin ngayon? 6,000, 7,000 gold lead in favor of Dream High. That means a lot of items ahead. For these guys, LeBron in the bottom lane trying to defend against Dilar and Wise. Zico yeah. now has dominance. Aye, so, Ibig Sabin, if Daniel wants to attack, it might be difficult. Oh, as there. Ho, ho. that was exactly what they did, and now they are trying to capitalize off that kill. Si Zico na pabagsak, so 4v5 for the next 30 seconds. What will Rumble Royale do? Kaya kaya nilang magawa ng paraan. And can they win a team fight? I think that's what we have to find out here. Still, Dream High, they don't care. Still, charge the Falling Star oh. Moon goes on to Daniel. Yeah, so far, it's gonna back off there. Oh, penalty zone spot up there. But so far, Rumble Royale here because oh, V1 already with a surprise factor. Nice counterplay there by Dream High Esports. They're getting it. They're trying to push down Rumble Royale on the retreat. No, po. It's gonna be the revival from Lebron, but it's way too late. Iakdu, tumabasok na sa base. And ng sisiga na lang, going straight. 
for the heroes on the back side. Nagintay lang sila minions. Iyak nun ako po ng bamama na sa loob ng fountain. Geo gonna be taken out as well. And I think that will be it. Dream High Esports. 2-1 victory. Laban sa Rumble Royale. Okay, that's it. The draft itself. That already dictated the tempo early in the game. Because of course, yung Harith mo, he wasn't able to do any of these Shimmer Shammer moves because of the fact na meron kayong Esmeralda that could provide the counterplay. And of course, we'd mentioned Esmeralda, pero meron din silang Kufra. That's, that's right. alternative.